Hello guys, Mr. Fluffy Bass here, and today I got another video, and today guys, I got the Blu-ray unboxings for Wonder Woman 1984 on Blu-ray, which, um, you know, I did do a review on this, so uh, check that out, I'll put that on a uh, link in the description in case you guys want to check that out, but uh, the Blu-ray came out this past Tuesday, and I picked it up, because uh, honestly, I like this better than the first Wonder Woman, um, I, like, the weird thing is for this movie, when it first started coming out, people were loving it, and then just, it's like a switch turned, and then everybody just started hating on it, like, I don't understand that, like, I, I honestly, like, love this movie to death, like, I watched this movie three times within the first, uh, two days of it releasing on Christmas Day, um, one of those times, I just put it in the background where I built some Lego sets, but, uh, you know, this movie that I absolutely love, like, I, I honestly don't understand, but, um, you know, pretty cool cover right here, I, I did think the promotional material for the movie is very awesome, uh, especially this poster, uh, you know, Wonder Woman 1984, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code, all right, there's the spine, very nice, all right, here's the back, you know, you got her and Cheetah, which, you know, Cheetah, I think, was definitely the weak point of the movie, um, I still liked her character, uh, and, you know, that final battle they had was actually pretty awesome, but, um, I don't know, just something didn't really feel right about it, I guess, but, uh, you know, you got the mall scene, uh, that scene right there is just spectacular, but, um, you know, uh, pretty cool right there, Let's take that slip cover off, uh, you know, same artwork and all of that, um, but, you know, honestly, though, I really enjoyed this movie, um, Pedro Pascal's character, I thought was, um, honestly, like, really good, I really liked his arc throughout the movie, and, um, and, uh, the Wishing Stone aspect of the movie, I thought they did it pretty smartly, um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really get it the first time I watched it, like, uh, you kinda have to pay attention to the rules of the stone or whatnot, but once you, uh, like, actually get a grasp about, you know, how the stone actually works, I think it, like, it, like, does, like, it's a really good, like, story point, I guess, um, but like I said, you know, it does take a little bit of, uh, uh, Rewatches to kind of get that one. I'm gonna take out my digital code. Okay, but on the inside right here, okay, I do like this. You got uh, some different disc art. You got the uh, yellow one for the regular DVD, and then the blue, bluish clear one. You can see me right there uh, for the Blu-ray. But very cool. But like I said, I really love this movie. Um, I definitely need to give it a rewatch. Uh, you know, because I haven't watched it since December. But um, you know, I'm really excited. To, you know, give this a rewatch because honestly, I really enjoy this. I think I like it better than the first Wonder Woman. Definitely not my favorite DC movie or the DCEU movie. I will say that though, but I still really enjoyed it. But. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this movie down below. Did you guys enjoy it as much as I did? Or, uh, you know, you didn't really like it? Or you, didn't, you thought it was just okay? But uh, check out my Twitter and Discord link in the description. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.